via DAB Plus. Hello, I'm Russell Leach. Uh, and I'm Elliot Williams. And you're listening to The After Party on Kink. Nou ja, als het gaat om het podium zijn ze op dit moment een klein beetje gone. Daar zijn ze net van afgehaald van het podium in AFAS Live. Waar de band twee avonden op rij speelt, uitverkocht. King presents editors in AFAS Live. Vandaag dus 5 maart, morgen 6 maart nog een nieuwe show. Hey, welkom bij Kink. Hier hoor je 24 uur per dag de beste alternative rock. Dat betekent dat we houden van de muziek van editors. Je hoorde ze net al met An End Has A Start live op Rock Werchter 2023... Sugar heb je al gehoord. Ja, het is hier een bijzondere dag, want de hele dag staat Jim al gehyped op kantoor. Die had namelijk de eer om richting AFAS Live te gaan vanavond... om de band uitgebreid te spreken als ze net van het podium waren. Dus uh, volgens mij, ik heb Jim net al een klein beetje gesproken, de lijntjes liggen. Laten we maar gaan richting AFAS Live voor de eerste officiële Editors After Party hier bij Kink. Uh, Jim, let's go! Kink. Welcome to... 
the editor's after party. You just had a show in AFAS Live. Yeah. Um, well, since you're radio host now, I think it would be best to introduce yourselves as hosts of this show. <laughs> Hello, I am Russell. Hello, and I am Elliot. And we are some of editors. What's the first thing that you guys actually do after a show? I, I, I'm, I'm presuming it's not always doing an after party radio show. Well, this first show, it's my birthday. Oh, so, congratulations. Yeah. Oh Thank my God, you. how did I not know? That's yeah, oh, okay. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, yeah. You should have checked my bloody Wikipedia. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's Russell's birthday, so... Oh man, yes. congratulations. So we're going to... It's, it's, a, it's a better after party than it usually is. Yeah. <laughs> it could be. Yeah, we have some friends fail. here tonight, so that is actually a proper after party, oh, which is it's good. it's like a very special evening. So yeah, probably the future me now is having a beer. Yeah. Uh, and a, maybe a <laughs> shot of something. Exactly, um, yeah. So the next song is something that you guys wanted to play on the radio. Um, it's a song written for the movie The Crow. Yes. Um, and it's, um, you know, music by you guys have been used in movies and TV shows alike. But would there be a movie or a, or a series that you would love to make a song for? Hmm, good question. Stranger Things. Stranger oh, Things. Oh, that would fit so perfectly. It would Damn. be good. But I mean... Um, you know, are the kids going to grow up until 2005? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they make like a sequel series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm, of course, talking about The Cure and Burn, which mm. was made for The Crow. What makes this song uh, powerful to you? Um, I just really like this tune. I mean, I'm, The Cure are my favourite band, and we've uh, been very fortunate to play with them a few times now, um, which has been amazing. And I think on that tour when we played with them, they were playing this song a lot, um, and I'd not seen them play it before. But it is a brilliant song, and kind of Robert starts with like pan pipes and things, which is quite funny. Um, but yeah, it's a great track. So uh, I'm here, of course, with Elliot and uh, Russell from uh, Editors. Um, next up is Munich. Uh, what's the best part about playing Munich live? Uh, it's uh, one of our, I don't know, biggest hits, I guess. So yeah, I think you know it's been around for a long time. So a song like that because it is such a big part of the set and a big moment for people it kind of gets refreshed every year and it, it kind of becomes i guess not your song i mean i didn't even write that one so i can't take claim but they are like adopted children slightly and um i think munich kind of feels like it is a people's song now i remember we did it myself chris and tom in a, a lounge in birmingham back in like 2003 and we played it acoustically and we just had the three parts and just we played it as the song acoustically and it just worked so well and you just knew straight off the bat that it was like that was the winner <laughs>
From what I understand, uh, this song, Phone Book, from yeah. editors, of course, yeah. um, uh, only took a few takes to record. Yeah. Uh, it's almost like playing it live, but in the studio, right? Yeah, I mean... We, we did basically play it live in the studio. It's as pretty much band, as it yeah. is. Yeah, I mean, that, that. I think we're all kind of very fondly looking back at that period of time now, which was 2013. <laughs> so it's, yeah. it's 10 years, and it's 10 years since Elliot and Justin came in from when Chris um, departed. And, uh, yeah, it was... Nashville was a great time and we always love American records and American sounding records and um, some of the songs I play tonight there are, you know, the American road trip, you know, Credence Clearwater and, you know, we do have a, a sense of that sometimes that we can, you know, dip into. You mentioned uh, Credence Clearwater Revival, which is the next song that we're going to play. Mm. Uh, we'll Stop the Rain. I was actually kind of asking myself, is that a, like a reference to English weather? Clairvoyant. But, yeah. <laughs> 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 but it's more, so it's more like the American uh, influence there. Yeah, totally. I just love those, the sound of those records, you know, just uh, people playing um, and, you know, great voice, great guitar tones, simple things done well. For an answer Was the hardest thing to hear So strung out Eclipsed by shiver Barley coddled and sincere It's a lonely life A long and lonely life Stay with me be your ghost tonight, be your ghost tonight So I'm here with editors, I'm here with Russell and with Elliot, two members of this fantastic band. Uh, you played Avos Live tonight, mm. Are you, uh, have you calmed down a bit already? <laughs> Getting there, yeah, yeah, yeah. just um, about. 
And this would probably help. Uh, you just heard the song Cold, which you played uh, at uh, the uh, Down the Rabbit Hole Festival five years ago. Um, and there are many versions of this song. Uh, there's, of course, like the studio album version. There's also a version uh, produced by your bandmate, uh, Blank Mass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which yeah. is like a, a very separate tone. Um, and we just heard the acoustic version played live. So what is it about this song that makes it, makes it so flexible uh, that you can have so many different versions of it? I think it's just a, it is a great song, um, and I think particularly when you know I think that was that was the first time that we even tried it in an acoustic style at down the rabbit hole, and you know that was a great festival and such a special moment when all the crowd just kind of started singing the hook along with us, which was kind of unexpected. Um, but yeah, it was a really beautiful moment. You know, there's the songs like that and the songs like nothing, very different from the album version. The live version, you know, it's just a live thing. And this is, of course, your after party. Uh, it's your birthday party. Yeah, <laughs> it's <man>. Russell's, <laughs> Russell's birthday party. Let's get fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, one of the songs that you requested, uh, we play on Kink, is the uh, the Sundays, a song by the Sundays called yeah. Goodbye, which yeah. is kind of a moody song, right? Yeah, I re I've really gotten into the Sundays over the last few years. They're kind of a band that, hey, well, I was too young and I missed them. But in terms of, you know those kind of indie records that have gone on to define stuff um yeah i think they've all been overlooked and overshadowed so yeah i love this record that it's the, the album that it's from as well but first we're gonna play uh, a banger of a song uh, one about is it the creator or the creature frankenstein yeah oh, yeah <laughs> amazing song Thanks. thank you Editors by Kink in the Editors After Party. I'm in the dressing room with Elliot and Russell. Uh, we're having an amazing time here. Um, so there's one song left in this uh, After Party. After that, you can finally enjoy yeah, <laughs> your yeah. birthday properly. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Text in to ask R wish Russell a happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'll, put, I'll give his number out in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for tonight, there's one song left, and it's one of my favorite Editors tracks. Uh, the title alone is brilliant it's smokers outside the hospital doors um what's your take on on the song um yeah it's one of those that just lives with people and um has a meaning and you know it's the imagery is just stri so striking with the the lyric that it's hard not to get um and we've we've been playing that last recently and it's starting to have its own kind of moment again um yeah, it's funny how some songs because you get a, a little tired, like you know, playing playing the songs that you have to have in the set, um, but then to to have a bit of I don't know finesse or just have a you know have a, a play around with it. We're just playing it a little bit differently, and we're enjoying it, really yeah, enjoying it. It's a bit of a surprise in the set at the moment, but I think from an audience perspective, it's uh, it becomes quite intimate and emotional as well as the grandeur of the song that you know everyone knows and loves. So yeah, it's become a special moment on this tour. So before we play it, um, have a good night. And I'll see you guys tomorrow because there's tomorrow, another mate. after party. Come tomorrow. on. We go again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
stopped us from seeing here I can't shake this feeling I got my dirty hands of I've been in the walls the saddest thing that I'd ever seen was smoke cause outside the hospital From what we would all broken hearts left smashed on the floor. I can't believe him if I can't hear him. No, I can't believe him if I can't hear him. Okay, best rock. 